hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to fandom strategies so let's cover uh, some coins um, before I get into Tron I want to talk about Bitcoin real quick so in yesterday's video I made um, I talked about that bulls have a long way to go uh, in, in Bitcoin uh, so um, you saw that we have a pretty decent balance yesterday and we were coming up against resistance and that was the main reason I was saying that we have a long way, the bulls have a long way to go before uh, we can feel comfortable uh, trading in this scenario. We have, there are multiple level of resistance that we have to clear in order to get some traction on the upside. Uh, so as in the previous video I mentioned, we have the uh, moving average uh, lines and then we have the upper resistant trend line that we need to clear in Bitcoin before um, we can get a little bit more comfortable on the upside. All right, so I just want to like uh, you know cover that point real quick uh, and follow up from the yesterday's video that okay uh, uh, you know that's the main reason I was saying that we have a long way to go on the upside for Bitcoin. All right, so let's move on to Tron. Uh, that's the reason I wanted to make this video today. Um, so Tron, a lot of uh, a lot of you have asked about Tron. In the channel and you know uh, Tron had a pretty significant move in um, last couple of weeks or uh, in my you know um, in last uh, I would say about 30 days um, it it pretty much bottomed out around around one cent uh, back in like you know December and then since then it has been nicely handsomely moving up in a trend line and uh, See the thing about Tron is you have to understand like uh, it's one of those speculative coins where it will it can drastically drop like 40 50 percent within like few days and it can easily go up to 60 80 percent or 100 percent within few days I have seen that before happening and this coin when it moves it goes uh, pretty uh, pretty widely because it's, it's a very speculative coin and it does attract uh, speculative investors who are just looking for quick returns and then you have uh, the day traders and like the swing traders who are jumping onto it then you have people who just heard about it from the uh, through their friends and family they, they jump on it because when they hear okay well, this is this coin is just trading one cent and it was trading about 10 cents like and just like uh, four four months ago uh, in month of um, June July it was like six months ago it was trading around 10 cents so you know that really attracts people that okay there is a good possibility that it can you know touch that 10 cents mark again so that that is very exciting for a lot of people so obviously you know and there is a risk involved in those things it's not going to be one way street it's going to be a pattern up and down um, but right now we uh, we are in a short term uh, uh, you know upward channel in Tron since the December low we made so if, if you look at the chart uh, this is the channel that we are tracking in Tron right now so keep it simple what I would do right now in Tron is just make it quite simple um, the green line right now that's a 200 day moving average now that's the moving average that we really want to track on the daily chart because anything if the price action stays over that 200 day moving average um, I would remain uh, bullish in Tron if it goes underneath then I will be a little bit more cautious so keep it simple Anything over 200 day moving average, long, anything under 200 day moving average, uh, close the position or like reduce the position. So that way you know that your um, uh, you know line in sand is 200 day moving average because it's right now it's right on that 200 day moving average and it will be much easier for uh, for you to kind of keep an eye on the 200 day moving average uh, going up and down. So uh, and other thing like you know around uh, around two three cents Tron will have some resistance. Okay, uh, please do keep that in mind. We will have some resistance around three cents in Tron. Um, so we need to like you know be ready for that. If we can get through those resistance level, um, we can easily see Tron going up to like four cents, which is about what one hundred percent from the point on. So for the long term, if I look at this chart, right. Um, uh, the price point from right now uh, from zero uh, zero uh, point zero two four 
to um, the long-term target uh, in Tron is going to be that's about 127 percent return from where we are sitting right now now that's a long-term target uh, uh, but periodically Tron have moved quite fast uh, I mean if you want to see that an example go back to the month of uh, month of April uh, May back in 2018 it basically like it bottomed out around uh, three cents and then it had a massive spike from three cents to ten cents within uh, within a month so you can imagine it had a massive like you know uh, move like from three cents to like ten cents that's almost 200 percent return within a month so that's that's like you know people just dream about those kind of return within a month so when this coin moves it really you know uh, you, you will see a lot of traction in this coin all right um so just be cautious like you know just because they have done it in the past doesn't mean it will do it again uh, what you should be thinking about is how to protect your capital all right rule number one is protecting your capital all right everything comes after uh, rule number one is always 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 protecting your capital if you don't protect your capital it's like a negative investing right because you don't want to be chasing your profits uh, or like you know once you make the profit then you get into negatives and then you're chasing all back again so that's really frustrating and it's really mentally uh, you know psychologically it's really frustrating and it, you will be wasting your time you will be wasting your energy and it's just a stupid way to invest money all right uh, so you want to be a professional you want to you want to get away from amateur investing and you want to invest like an uh, invest like a you know a professional all right so rule number one always protect your profit always protect your capital all right that should be your rule number one so that's um tron right now uh keep it again recap 200 uh, over 200 day moving average uh, we remain bullish anything below we are uh, you know cautious we are like you know putting some stop losses and um, you know cutting back on the position if it goes below 200 day moving average all right so just keeping it simple right now um, the weekly also looking uh, nice in Tron as well we touched the 50 may 50 day moving average on the weekly chart um, and uh, so I mean for the weekly it's still quite decent but like I, I, I do want to see some follow-through right now um, so overall market needs to be positive as well it's, it's not just going to be Tron is not going to pull the weight for all other coins it's, it's a very small coin so we need some bigger coins um, to you know have some momentum on the upside okay that's all uh, if you have any questions please uh, post it in the comment and if you have any other coins you want me to cover uh, post it in the comment as well and i will definitely try to cover them uh, shortly all right uh, and again if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit those notification and the bell icon um, if you like this video if you have learned something from this video then please uh, give me thumbs up that really means a lot keeps me motivated in uh, making this content every day it does take a lot of time um, this is a more of a uh, the whole reason behind creating this channel is educating the new investor uh, because when I started um, I started uh, investing like you know it's, it's been I have been professionally trading for 15 plus years and um, when I like when I was in that phase in early 2000 I did not have a lot of like you know guidance on how to trade and I was like making a lot of like um, you know silly mistakes and I really want to have people to have some kind of like you know um, education and some guidance so they can avoid this kind of mistake and uh, become a more a, a more of a professional trader rather than like uh, staying as an amateur trader uh, for most of their um, trading all right uh, so again um, if you think this is helpful then please support the channel uh, support by you know subscribing and like um, uh, spreading the words all right talk to you soon